Hey everybody, Colby here with your fishing forecast. Today is Monday, September 23rd. Um, got a little bit of overcast skies today, some rain this morning, a good amount of rain over the weekend. And so right now what we're going to be looking at is a week with some comfortable weather, highs in the uh, low to mid 70s, and then um, lows just hovering around 62 degrees. So good fishing temperatures. Uh, we've got a lot of rain over the weekend um, and, er and the latter part of last week. So everything's flowing pretty well right now. We do have boats out on uh, the Shenandoah today. Uh, water's kind of coming up in spots. It's dropping um, up near Port Republic. We've got a, maybe about two feet of visibility in uh, most of the South Fork of the Shenandoah. The little bit of rain this morning didn't seem to amount to much. I don't think that it's going to bump the river up anymore, but we do have rain in the forecast for the next couple days, all the way until uh, through Wednesday night. Um, it looks like Thursday and Friday will be a little bit warmer, upper 70s, less rain potential in the forecast. We do have a big tropical system in the Gulf right now, and it looks like it might uh, develop 80% probability that it's going to develop and it looks like it's going to head straight north. So that might be something over the weekend, early next week that we might see um, some more significant rainfall. Good news is uh, the ground is wet right now. Most of our brook trout streams got um, a good charge of water, are, in, are flowing in good shape. Some drainages did not get as much. North River still, uh, the upper part of North River is still uh, pretty low. But dry river drainage and reports from the park are that water flow is in good shape. So uh, spring creeks are back, flowing pretty strong and full. This beautiful overcast weather that we're going to have this week should make for some great streamer fishing. Uh, the, the fish on our spring creeks have primarily been seeing dries and little nymphs through the low kind of droughty conditions we've had all summer. So the reports are on these rainy overcast days, we're getting some pretty good action. And it's also one of the better times for us to pursue some, some larger fish. So on the smallmouth side of things, we've got high, higher water reports today where most of the fish were kind of congregated in the soft spots. So as water comes up, usually the fish will push towards the bank or seek shelter but, you know, on big uh, mid-river ledges. And so every time you got to a soft spot eddy in the river, um, we were getting bites and hooking fish. So um, same thing will kind of play through the week. Top water bite might slow down uh, with the reduced visibility and increased flows. And also on just those days where it's raining um, throughout the day. So a uh, good, good chance for musky fishermen right now, though. We've been dealing with crystal clear water you know, temperatures uh, safe to fish in the mid 60s um, to low 60s some days. And but the crystal clear water can make those fish a little bit spooky, a little bit timid and shy, especially the eat boat side uh, when you bring them into a figure eight. And so now that we've got some um, some stain in the river system, I would anticipate uh, better hookups, better probability, especially on those uh, boat side eats. Um, fish following in and getting them into a figure eight. So uh, the overcast days too, we've been seeing a lot of carp activity with reduced visibility and higher flows. It may be harder to target or locate carp. Uh, but last week on Wednesday, when we went out, um, the water was rising and um, we found those carp kind of going up into the shallow shoals next to the water willow that had grown up um kind of like a rising tide they were up in those areas feeding and it's harder to see them on these low visibility overcast days but it makes those carp very comfortable going up shallow so kind of a double-edged sword but it's a great time to go and target those carp right now while uh, water temps are still favorable and while the fish are still uh, actively feeding in in shallow water so um, should have some decent smallmouth bass fishing if we don't get any thunderstorms that create muddy conditions in the river system. 
carp fishing should be good. Musky fishing should be good. Uh, reports from Friday up in the park, brook trout. Some of the brook trout streams were actually swollen and pretty high borderline um, for dry fly fishing, but reports have been that uh, folks were catching fish on dries pretty well. With unstable weather, you might want to consider um, taking a number of nymphs, size 14, 16, drop below your dry fly just to see if you might pick up more fish on those subsurface flies than you will on dries. But the last couple of rain events that we've had throughout this um, droughty summer, the dry fly fishing has been really good. Those fish go from those sanctuary pools, they spread out all over the river system and they're hungry and they're pretty indiscriminate on what they want to eat. So, you know, uh, bushy attractors, elk hair caddis, stimulators, really any size 14, 16 dry fly that you want to throw ought to be good. There's still some little Yellowstone flies flying around. You might see um, some caddis popping here or there. That's going to be the predominant insects outside of maybe some blooming olives that you might see up in the mountains. <clears throat> um, ants, beetles will still work. Haven't had any um, big hard frosts yet to, to wipe those out. Same on the spring creeks, beetles, ants, um, lots of big uh, mature grasshoppers, crickets, still seeing trichos in the morning. And even today, still seeing very sporadic hex flying off. Um, I think our, our larger, bigger um, spinner falls and whatnot on the hex are, are probably done for the year, but uh, they've been available uh, for the past couple of weeks and fish will still recognize them. So big bushy dries when the spring creeks are clear. If there's rain hitting the water, try some dark colored streamer patterns um, for your best success. Week's looking good and comfortable. Uh, it is Parents' Day weekend for James Madison University this Saturday uh, home football game. So town will be crowded, but uh, during, especially around game time and tailgate time, the, the um, local streams might, might not have many anglers. Um, so, but if you're trying to come to stay in town this weekend, it's gonna be hard to find a hotel room anywhere nearby, um, but might look at the weather for the weekend, camping might be an option, and then day trips should be fun in the area. So looking forward to hopefully a trend of wet weather that will help us uh, recoup some of the ground we lost this summer and get some more water in the ground, fill up our uh, impoundments and our lakes and set us up for a great fall fishing season. So shops loaded with fly tying material, uh, re-gearing a lot of things for the fall season ahead, got a lot of cold weather gear coming in, uh, plenty of flies and gear to get you out on the water. So stop by and see us. Thanks.